myself dinesh working as assistant professor in physics dear students in this video i am going to explain the review of young's double slit experiment here in this video i can brief the concept of interference of light interference patterns of double slits young's double slit experiment coherent sources and to study the conditions for sustained interference let us see what is interference of light here interference means it is the modification in the distribution of light and g by the superposition of two or more light waves is known as interference of light or it can also be defined as the phenomenon of two or more similar light waves superposing with one another resulting in the redistribution of light energy is known as interference let us see the linear superposition here for construct interference see the diagram if bright point is observed due to superposition of two light waves having same frequency and amplitude emitting from two sources then that interference is known as constructive interference here from schematic diagram 1a the two waves can combine at screen two waves can combine at screen here in which the leave the two slits in phase two slits in phase strike the screen at the central point p because these waves travel equal distances equal distances they arrive in phase at the point p on the screen and as a result the constructive interference occurs and a bright fringe is obtained here in figure 1b in lower figure the two light waves again starts in phase but the upper wave has to travel one wavelength farther to reach point q on the screen because the upper wave falls behind the lower one by exactly one wavelength the two waves still arrive in phase at q at q on the screen so a second bright fringe appears at that location let us see destructive interference due to superposition of linear waves here if dark point is observed due to the superposition of two light waves having same frequency and amplitude emitting from two sources then that interference is known as destructive interference here from figure 1c the upper wave the upper wave from state s1 has fallen half a wavelength behind the lower wave this means that the trough of the bottom wave overlaps the crest of the upper wave giving rise to destructive interference as a result a dark fringe can be observed at the point r let us see the eng's double slit experiment as early as in 1665 grimaldi attempted to produce interference between two beams of light this was first shown in 1801 by thomas eng who sent sunlight through two narrow slits and showed that an interference pattern could be seen on a screen placed behind the two slits yeah this one is the monochromatic light emitting from the source it can pass through a single slit and finally the double slits s1 and s2 the two or more light waves superposed together and they undergo constructive and destructive interference hence we can get alternate dark and bright bands on the screen this is the schematic 
diagram of Young's double slit experiment. This is the animated video. Let us see Young's double slit experiment in brief. Dear students, this makes use of Huygens principle. The idea behind that each point on your wave can be considered to be a source of secondary waves. In the double slit experiment, a single source is split into two waves to generate two coherent sources. When the light from the two sources is projected on a screen, is projected on a screen, an interference pattern is observed. At the center of the screen, the waves from the two sources are in phase, are in phase. Hence, we get the bright fringe. When the difference in path is equal to half a wavelength, distract interference occurs on the screen. That means we can get the dark fringe. Instead, when the difference in path length is equal to a wavelength, constructive interference occurs. That means when crest falls on crest or trough falls on the trough of the other wave, they are superposed together, we get constructive interference that means bright, bright fringe. Here the red color shown here, bright, dark is, here black color is dark one, that is dark fringe, dark and bright fringes are shown in the screen here. Here theory of Young's double slit experiment. Here the light emerging from the source S1 and S2 are in phase since they have traveled different paths in reaching the point P. Here from S1 and S2 they reach different path. They are traveling different path and reaching the point P on the screen. They, then there is a phase difference occurs. The path difference between S1 and S2 is S2K equals D sin theta. Here S2K this one path difference S2K equals d sin theta this is the, from the triangle s1 is 2 k we get s2 k equals d sin theta if theta is very small then sin theta equals d tan theta here from the triangle opq here the triangle o p q tan theta equals x upon d capital d opposite by adjacent x upon capital d Therefore, the part difference should be xd upon capital D, x into small d upon capital D. Here, let us see the conditions for constructive interference, that means for bright fringe. Here, part difference should be delta equals n lambda, where n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Therefore, the part difference here from the above equation, power difference xd upon capital D is equal to n lambda equate these two. We get the x, the length of the fringe system x equals n lambda into d upon small d, where lambda is the wavelength of the monochromatic light used. Here, for nth bright fringe, for nth bright fringe on the screen, xn subscript n equals n lambda d upon d. Therefore, for n minus 1th fringe, here this one above equation stands for nth fringe, next for n minus 1 fringe, for example, 10th fringe and for 9th fringe. 9th fringe means n minus 1th fringe, bright fringe then xn minus 1 equals n minus 1 into lambda d upon small d. Therefore, fringe width. Fringe width is the difference in the bright fringes, two bright fringes. That is xn minus xn minus 1 subscript n minus 1 equals n lambda d by d minus of n minus 1 into lambda d upon small d. Here, difference of these two fringes is equal to the fringe width lambda into capital letter D upon small d, lambda d by t. Let it be equation 1. Next, 
the conditions for destructive interference that means dark fringe here power difference delta equals 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 this is the condition for power difference for dark fringe or it also written as 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 where n is 1 2 3 4 and so on therefore for nth dark fringe for example 10th dark fringe it is written as x subscript n equals 2n minus 1 upon 2 into lambda d by d we get for n minus 1th dark fringe that means for nth dark means 10th dark fringe for example n minus 1 means 10 minus 1 and 9th dark fringe for 9th dark fringe xn minus 1 equals 2 into n minus 1 of minus 1 divided by 2 into lambda d by d here for fringe, for fringe width the difference of these two nth and n minus 1th dark fringe we get by substituting these two in this equation we get finally on further simplification we get lambda d upon d let it be equation 2 here from equations 1 and 2 these two equations are similar the hence the fringes are all of equal width therefore fringe width from these two equations the fringe width width can be written as beta equals lambda d by d let us see what are coherent sources what are coherent sources here coherent sources of light are those source of light which emit light waves of same wavelength frequency and in phase or having constant phase differences the coherent sources s1 and s2 can be obtained from a single source of light by reflection or refraction etc here these two diagram illustrates about the coherent sources here the light waves coming from the two sources they interference together even if the source of light do not stay in step with each other as long as the amount by which they are out of step remains the same over time the light sources are said to be coherent to be coherent two waves must have the same frequency and there must not be any disruption of their cycle over the course of time here this diagram in an incandescent bulb this one figure 1.3 the vibrations of electrons within the filament lead to the production of the electromagnetic waves several million times in a second there are small disruption of the filament that results in discontinuous in the waves that they produce ultimately two different incandescent bulbs are unable to produce light waves that maintain a constant difference in phase over time as a result any interference pattern that does occurs will not endure for a sufficient length of time to allow the human eye to observe the pattern let us see the methods of producing coherent sources and hence interference. Here there are two methods. First one by division of wavefront, second by division of amplitude. Let us see the division of wavefront. Here a wavefront from one single source is split into two parts by reflection or refraction etc. The two parts are then made to travel different paths so that a path difference and hence a phase difference is introduced between them they are then made to reunite to form interference pattern on the screen example for this wavefront, wavefront is division of wavefront is x double slit experiment by prism and Lloyd's mirror let us see the division of amplitude here the amplitude of the incident beam is divided into two parts by reflection or refraction or by combination of both. They are then superimposed over each other to produce interference fringes. Example for this one is Newton rings, Newton's rings 
एयरवेड्स एंड कलर्स ऑफ तीन फिल्म लेट अस सी द रिलेशन बिटवीन फेस डिफरेंस एंड पॉथ डिफरेंस हियर इफ द पॉथ डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू वेव्स इज लैम्डा द फेस डिफरेंस इज 2 पाई फेस डिफरेंस इज 2 पाई इफ द पॉथ डिफरेंस इज एक्स देन द फेस डिफरेंस इज गिवन बाय द फार्मूला phi is equal to 2 pi upon lambda into x here the phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference this is the relation between phase difference and path difference let us see the conditions for such time interference that means good pattern of interference on the screen first condition is the two sources of light must be coherent the two source should be coherent second one is the light emitting by the two sources must be monochromatic monochromatic third one is the amplitudes of the two interfering beams should be equal that should be equal fourth one the two sources must be narrow fifth one the two sources must be close to each other sixth one the screen should be at a large distance from the coherent sources finally the state of polarization of the light interfering should be same let us see the conditions for constructive interference the phase difference should be pi equals 2n times of pi 2n pi where n equals 0 1 2 3 etc the part difference should be delta equals n lambda conditions for destructive interference here the phase difference should be pi equals 2n minus 1 into pi or 2n plus 1 into pi where n equals 1 2 3 4 and so on the part difference should be 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 that's all thank you